John Gielgud, a prominent figure in classic Hollywood, left an unmistakable mark on the world of acting. For many, the first recognition of his talent sparks curiosity about his defining career moment. Delving into his impactful journey invites you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to this celebrated actor in the comments below. Stay tuned for intriguing facts, some funny, others shocking, and a few that might tug at your heartstrings. Keep watching, there's more to unfold. What was the first instance you noticed his presence? Which of his works do you believe defined his illustrious career? Share your stories and let's celebrate the legacy of this classic Hollywood icon. And remember, there are plenty of surprising, amusing, and poignant details ahead. Stay with us to uncover the layers of his journey in the world of cinema. In the realm of theater, John Gielgud stands as a towering figure, leaving an indelible mark on the stage with remarkable contributions. Renowned for his acting prowess, he navigated the intricate landscape of thespian artistry with unparalleled skill. Born into a family deeply rooted in the performing arts, his journey into acting seemed almost predestined. His career, which spanned several decades, showcased not only exceptional talent, but also unwavering commitment to the craft. Performances were captivating, drawing audiences into the stories told on stage. His significance lies in the ability to breathe life into characters, making them resonate with the audience on a profound level. Portrayals were not just about the lines delivered, rather, they were a testament to an understanding of the human condition. In the world of theater, he became a benchmark, setting standards for authenticity and depth. Throughout his career, Gielgud garnered numerous accolades, including prestigious awards celebrating contributions to the art of acting. The impact on the stage was enduring, leaving an undeniable legacy that continues to influence aspiring actors to this day. In conclusion, his career is a compelling chapter in the annals of theatrical history. Commitment to the craft, coupled with exceptional talent, solidified his place as a true master of the stage. John Gielgud, a prominent figure in the entertainment industry, faced the relentless pressure to maintain a youthful image throughout his career. The demands of the industry often compelled him to conform to societal expectations of eternal youthfulness, creating a constant struggle to defy the natural aging process. This pressure, stemming from an industry fixated on appearances, posed a significant challenge to his personal and professional life. Additionally, he grappled with the broader struggles that accompany a life in the limelight. The constant scrutiny, public expectations, and the ever-present spotlight took a toll on his privacy and personal well-being. Navigating the delicate balance between public persona and private life proved to be a formidable challenge. Despite his achievements in the world of acting, Gielgud faced the enduring battle to preserve authenticity amidst external pressures. The internal conflict between staying true to oneself and meeting the external demands of the entertainment industry created a complex and demanding landscape for him to navigate. In conclusion, his life was marked by the unrelenting pressure to stay young in an industry fixated on appearances, coupled with the broader challenges of fame and public expectations. These struggles, both internal and external, shaped his journey in the world of acting, leaving an indelible mark on his legacy. Honored with the Lawrence Olivier Theatre Special Award in 1986 for a lifetime of theatrical brilliance, the recipient left an indelible mark on the stage. Following an iconic portrayal of Prospero in Prospero's books, the role was reprised multiple times on stage, with the baton later passed to Helen Mirren. She brought a fresh perspective as Prospera in The Tempest. Similarly, in the role of Hobson in Arthur and its sequel, the torch was handed to Mirren, who took on the character of Lillian Hobson in Arthur. This transition showcased a profound influence on subsequent generations. In a pivotal moment in 1936, they, alongside Leslie Howard, engaged in a friendly Broadway competition with rival productions of Hamlet. The verdict was clear their rendition emerged as the more successful of the two, solidifying their status as a force to be reckoned with in the realm of theater. These instances not only demonstrate enduring impact, but also highlight a knack for cultivating roles that withstand the test of time. Achievements resonate in the annals of theatrical history, contributing significantly to the vibrant tapestry of stage performances. John Gielgud, a distinguished figure in the world of theater, achieved notable milestones throughout his career. One significant moment was his portrayal of Hamlet, widely regarded as the pinnacle for a tragedian. 
In the year 2000, Ethan Hawke's computer screen briefly showcased archive footage of his Hamlet, solidifying his status as the most celebrated interpreter of the melancholy Dane in the 20th century, surpassing even renowned actors like John Barrymore, Laurence Olivier, and Richard Burton. Notably, he holds the distinction of being the sole actor featured in Shakespearean films directed by both Laurence Olivier and Kenneth Branagh. This unique feat underscores his enduring relevance and contributions to cinematic interpretations of Shakespearean works. Beyond the stage and screen, Gilgud's convictions extended to the ethical treatment of animals. His advocacy against the foie gras industry in the early 1990s as part of P.E. Ta's campaign left a lasting impact. A two-time recipient of P.E. Ta's Humanitarian of the Year Award, he narrated a video expose on the forced feeding of geese and ducks. The ripple effect of this campaign led to numerous chefs and restaurateurs removing foie gras from their menus. In conclusion, his influence in theater and film, coupled with his commitment to ethical causes, marks him as a luminary whose legacy extends far beyond the stage and screen. Known as J.K. Rowling's original inspiration for Albus Dumbledore, the accomplished actor John Gielgud left an indelible mark on the stage and screen. His influence extended beyond early achievements with all Oscar and Emmy nominations coming after the age of 60. In a noteworthy collaboration with Laurence Olivier in a 1935 production of Romeo and Juliet, Gielgud's superior reviews as Romeo spurred Olivier to become a better actor. This pivotal moment in their careers set the stage for lasting impact on the world of acting, influencing not only contemporaries but also future generations. The unique dynamics between Gielgud and Olivier, alternating roles in Shakespearean classics, added a layer of complexity to their artistic relationship. His significance in the acting landscape reached new heights as he became the muse for one of the most iconic characters in modern literature. J.K. Rowling's choice to draw inspiration from his essence for Albus Dumbledore speaks volumes about Gielgud's gravitas and the enduring qualities that made him a distinguished figure. The transition from the stage to cinematic fame took an interesting turn for him, with accolades and nominations flooding in during the latter part of his career. Notably, his collaboration with Laurence Olivier was not just a historical footnote, but a turning point in the trajectory of both actors' careers. The echoes of their shared stage experiences reverberated through time, leaving an imprint on the evolution of acting techniques. His impact on Olivier's journey toward excellence showcased the camaraderie and healthy competition that defined their era. In conclusion, Gilgud's legacy extends far beyond the footlights. From pivotal roles on stage to being the inspiration for a beloved literary character, his influence remains palpable in the annals of artistic history. The nuances of his collaborations and the recognition he received later in life underscore the enduring relevance of a man whose contributions shaped the world of acting, leaving an indelible mark on the stage and inspiring future generations. Awarded the 1982 London Evening Theatre Awards Special Award for Lifetime Achievement to the Theatre, he stands as a pivotal figure in the acting world. The recognition bestowed upon him for his enduring contributions highlights a career that transcended the footlights. A notable moment in his life became the subject of the 2008 play Plague Over England by Nicholas de Jong, which dramatized his 1953 arrest for soliciting homosexual acts in a public lavatory. This incident, though a challenging chapter, added layers to his public persona. In the realm of cinema, he played minor roles in consecutive Academy Award-winning Best Picture films Chariots of Fire and Gandhi. These cinematic endeavors marked a subtle yet impactful presence in the world of film. The 1982 London Evening Theatre Award, the dramatic retelling of a personal struggle, and the cinematic milestones collectively paint a nuanced picture of an actor whose influence extends far beyond the stage. His journey, rife with accolades and challenges, adds depth to the narrative of a man whose legacy continues to resonate in the world of performing arts. Renowned for extensive contributions to both stage and screen, John Gielgud's impact extends beyond traditional acting roles. In the 1996 film Dragonheart, he lent his distinctive voice to the character of King Arthur. Notably, portraying King Constant, King Arthur's grandfather, in the 1998 film Merlin, he provided a nuanced portrayal of the character. Additionally, his voice brought life to Merlin in Quest for Camelot, released the same year. 
In his personal life, marked by enduring relationships, Gielgud faced a significant loss in December 1998 with the passing of his longtime lover, Martin Hensler, who was almost four decades younger. Delving into directorial prowess, William Redfield, who appeared in the Gielgud directed stage version of Richard Burton's Hamlet, highlighted remarkable knowledge of the play. In his 1967 memoir, Notes of an Actor, Redfield noted that Gielgud possessed an encyclopedic understanding of the play and could effortlessly perform any role from memory, showcasing a deep connection to the theatrical craft. This exploration of Gielgud's multifaceted contributions in film, stage, and directorial endeavors offers a glimpse into the diverse facets of his illustrious career. John Gielgud, a distinguished figure in the entertainment industry, holds a unique position among the select few who have achieved EGOT status. This exclusive group includes luminaries like Richard Rogers, Helen Hayes, and Audrey Hepburn, recognizing individuals who have received an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a Tony competitively. His remarkable accomplishment places him in the company of iconic figures, showcasing versatility and excellence across various entertainment platforms. Laurence Olivier, acknowledging unparalleled mastery of Shakespeare's verse, once commented on the actor's captivating voice, describing it as something that wooed the world. While praising the interpretation of the bard's work, Olivier did critique for occasionally making the verse too melodic, resembling a song. This acknowledgement from Olivier highlights the profound impact of theatrical contributions, emphasizing command over Shakespearean language. In a moment of playful wit, Gielgud showcased candid humor by remarking on Ingrid Bergman's linguistic skills, stating Ingrid Bergman is fluent in five languages, and she can't act in any of them. This lighthearted comment not only reflects his humor, but also hints at a straightforward and no-nonsense approach to the craft. From EGOT status to Olivier's praise and his own humorous observations, these facets paint a comprehensive picture of an entertainment giant whose influence transcends awards and accolades, leaving an enduring mark on the industry. The journey is a testament to exceptional talent and the impact made across the realms of stage and screen.